Hey everyone, welcome back. So welcome to my YouTube channel, My Study. And in this video, I'm going to focus upon there are two most important common resources available among the data scientists and a machine learning engineer. So if you are a complete beginner, you might know know about those kind of resources. And in this video, I'm going to show you if you are an intermediate or experienced developer in a machine learning field, you might already aware about those kind of resources. So the idea behind these two resources will be how you can get the data because without data, how you are going to apply all those machine learning and a deep learning kind of model. So the very first one where you do not require even any kind of login, which is nothing but UCI machine learning repository. So I'm just going to select uh, or search for UCI machine learning repository and this particular website being hosted by University of California, Irving. So here you can see on our dashboard, there are some newest data sets are available, which is just being released. There are some most popular data sets like uh, Iris data set or adult, uh, I guess uh, some adult, uh, I didn't use it, I guess that is uh, related to some income prediction for the adult. There is a wine data set, breast cancer data set. So these are some of the most common. If you want to see all the data set, you can just click on view all the data sets on a top right corner and from here on a left hand side there are number of filters are available so based on let's say the kind of problem you are tackling in a machine learning field like a classification problem you can just click on it and all the data set which is specifically designed for the classification or just got collected for the classification related problem it will be filtered out among the classification also if you want to let's say want to drill down for just the numerical feature only you are interested to work upon and only 292 data sets are available i'm not sure how many total number of data sets are available but there are most probably more than thousand different data set as a beginner always you can immediately start upon it let me click uh, one of them let's say a study on asian religious and biblical texts so from here you can see all those data set information has been given like uh, how many records are available like number of instance how many attributes for each individual record what are the types of data available and specifically this type of data set has been used for what kind of machine learning problem is there any missing values are there or not and if you want to download this data set you can click on this download folder and from here you can always download it so this way this is one of the very important resources and as a beginner as a starter you should always look for some data set and you can always start working upon it this is completely free of cost as far as you are not using for the any kind of commercial purpose as a student as a beginner in a machine learning and a data scientist field you can always start working from here on the basis of area also domain also based on the number of attributes are available number of instances are available you can always filter out your data and you can always start work upon it so that is my even a first resources i want to show you even my own journey also got started from this kind of uh, data sets are available from this uci machine learning repository there is another important resource you might already aware about that is nothing but a kaggle so kaggle is like a you can say a god of machine learning and a data science field. So here you will be able to meet millions of machine learning and a data science community people. They can even held a lot big competition also. So you can always submit your own solution for individual data set. You can even win the different great prizes also. So a lot of big companies like Google, Netflix, they have hosted competition on this website now here there are great things are available as a starter even for intermediate even for experienced machine learning and a deep learning kind of people so let's see uh, let's just explore this website so first one which i want to show you is a data set so if you just click on this data set you can see there are they are saying that there are 50 55,497 data sets are available for you to work upon so that's a great repository are available from here you can always uh, drill down based on some specific uh, data set you can always search from here you can even filter it also 
that the kind of data available let's say in a csv format only i am interested or data available in a big query format that only i am interested in let's say i am interested in some student data set i am doing the research on a student so i can easily get it some student alcohol consumption student great prediction you can click one of the data sets so let me just click on one of them now to download this data set you have to have a kaggle account so you can just simply register from here and sign in into it there is no big deal in and you can easily download it because if you are not signing they won't allow you to download now there is one most important and great thing about this kaggle is other people who have already uploaded this data set apart from that other people from the community also they have already created some solution from it so if you are a complete beginner these solutions are available in number of varieties of different language for the analysis like it's available in python r sqlite or julia so from here they have already created solution for this data set so you can always try to create your own solution you can always compare your solution with other people's solution and you can always come up with some different kinds of strategy for analysis of data so this is one of the great resource you can always discuss about this data set that uh, what's going on with the data set you can always search for some jobs also there are some great courses also they have already developed so if you are a complete beginner you can uh, click on any one of them like you can always start with a python and slowly move towards a data science and all those data science related basic library like a numpy pandas and we have a let's say visualization library and slowly move moving towards machine learning and a deep learning related algorithm so these are the two resource which are of interest to us and everyone in a community they use it you can uh, even go to competition also so there are competition links are also available i guess you can discuss you can data set there is a complete yeah that's a competition so here are all those competition so they are like a, you can see this is like a rsna preliminary so that's a biology related some uh, problems are there and if you just run it you can submit your own solution in short not just the exact solution but uh, you have to submit just the, your output and based on their criteria that how much accurate uh, or how much accuracy you got they will announce the winner and you can see they have already announced the results i mean i mean winners having a Thirty thousand dollar price, so it's a great place for anyone who are diving into machine learning and a deep learning world. They can start working upon it, and there is a great resources available for you to get started. Now, individual competition has their own uh, uh, discussion board also, own uh, leaderboard also that uh, which are the students or uh, teams or individual users who are competing. So you can always see who has got how much accuracy. and you can just pick up some of the data set and start working upon it so these are the two things i personally think that as a machine learning engineer or i would say the starter in a machine learning engineer they should be aware about it that how you can get the data because without data how you can proceed ahead all right so that is all about the machine learning data set these are the two places from where you can grab the machine learning data set and i hope you enjoy listening this video and see you into next video with some more cool stuff related to python machine learning and data science all right so till that time please leave comment like this video and subscribe my channel